are going to be talking about a little bit of breaking news in the college basketball world. Finally, Louisville has landed on a head coach. They have, according to Jeff Goodman's sources, uh, targeted, settled on. Jeff, what's the wording on on what's happening with the situation? Yeah, I mean, they're they're basically finalizing a deal right now. Uh, Pat Kelsey, barring a crazy set of circumstances, will be the next uh, head coach at Louisville. Uh, been a long process, like you said, but um, athletic director Josh Hurd of Louisville kind of made it clear that he was not going to go uh, with any guys that have baggage, lo- thus eliminating the Chris Beard, John Miller's, Will Wade's from the equation. Uh, obviously went after Scott Drew. Scott Drew's going to sign an extension at Baylor here any day. Uh, then he tried Dusty May. Andy Miller, uh, Dusty's agent, kind of working three places. Vandy, Louisville eventually chooses, uh, Dusty chooses Michigan. So as I said, if you remember, Rob, what did I say about a month ago? I said, don't be surprised, Louisville fans, if you end up with a guy that isn't going to win the press conference, a mid-major coach. And that's exactly where we are. Pat Kelsey, who I think is actually terrific for the job. He's a Midwest guy. He's gone to two tournaments with Charleston, went to a few more with Winthrop. So he's been a veteran head coach. And he is kind of the antithesis in a lot of ways of Kenny Payne, right? He's got crazy energy, endless energy. Kenny was chill, mellow. He's got a ton of head coaching experience. He's got a ton of high major assistant coaching experience that people probably don't remember at Wake Forest, he recruited the core of that team, the James Johnson, Tony Woods, Jeff Teague, all those dudes that were rolling. They were the number one team in the country, um, that group, and they kind of fell apart at the end. So uh, Kelsey, to me, fits what Louisville needs right now. Should Louisville fans be concerned that it took this long for them to land on the guy that was uh, one of the obvious candidates at the very beginning of this entire process? Right. Like I remember the first time that we talked Hell about no. this when No. Yeah. Why would they why would you be concerned? You're 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 shooting for the stars, right, Rob? Like that's what you 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 should do if you're an athletic director. And here's the thing. Josh Hurd waited until Kenny Payne was fired to reach out to candidates. A lot of people say, hey, you knew he was going to be gone back in, in December or January. But he tried to do the right thing by him, character-wise, and waited. Now, again, other ADs probably wouldn't have done that, a lot of them. They would have they gone ahead and tried to figure this thing out in January, February. He didn't want to do that with Kenny Payne still employed by the school. So what is – how did this process end up at Kelsey, right? Like we, we heard names like Shaheen Holloway, like Josh shirts, like, um, like dusty may, like how, how did it end up being Pat Kelsey? Why is he the guy? Well, he, he's the guy, because again, when you looked at it, I'm not sure there was an ideal choice that checked every box, but Kelsey checks a lot of them, right? Culture. You got to remember Josh Hurd worked with Jay Wright at Villanova. He wants culture here. Pat Kelsey, what has he done at Charleston? Culture. I've been there. I've been there for most of the last two winters uh, around this group and two different groups, really, over the last couple of years. They bought, they've gone to the NCAA tournament twice, and he's established a culture. Again, he's got energy. He is super organized. He holds people accountable. He has no hobbies other than work and his family. Um, you know, I again – You weren't going to, if you're not going to get the Will Wade's Chris, you're not winning the press conference. Richard Pitino, yes, uh, Josh Hurd talked to Richard Pitino, but I don't know if he was ever really a a true candidate in the sense of the word of of getting this job. Um, I I think, again, uh, this came down to to Josh Hurd's at Indiana State. He was in the mix, and honestly, if he had gone to the NCAA tournament, I I think it would have been right there with Hurd's and and Kelsey. the other thing is Shirts is likely going to go to St. Louis and has already signed something at St. Louis. So it would have been hard for him to get out. Uh, I was told there was some some talks between the two sides, but it was it was a complicated situation between Josh Shirts and Lou. Um, all right. So the last thing I want to ask you is there there's a little it feels like there is angst right now in the Louisville fan base. And I'm gonna just kind of phrase this based off the some of the reaction that I've seen to um your breaking news tweet it, 
it feels like this is a difficult sell for some Louisville fans in part because it's Kelsey's coming from a mid-major program in part sure. because he hasn't won at the highest level that we've seen some of these other mid-major guys win. Um, and in part because the way that this search kind of went felt like it was a securitous route and they ended up with a guy as opposed to like targeting this guy. Talk us into, and and the fact that it's kind of from the Chris Matt coaching tree. And I think there's still a little bit of lingering, uh, uh, maybe bitterness is the right word for Louisville fans there. Um, yep. So talk me into this, right? Can Pretend I'm a Louisville fan. Why is this the correct answer? And what is Pat Kelsey going to do to get this program going again? Well, he's going to work. He's going to work his ass off. Uh, that's the number one thing, right? You can trust Pat Kelsey. He's done it before. He's He's run programs. So he's got the experience. Kenny Payne was too green, number one. He was too green. His staff was too green. I expect, um, you know, Kelsey to bring some of his staff with him, but I'm sure he will also look to add to it with some veteran guys. But again, he's been there. He's done that. He's been around this his whole life, and he's worked at jobs that weren't quite as easy as Kenny Payne did, right? Kenny Payne, obviously, we know, Kentucky, Oregon. Those are layup jobs as an assistant coach. Uh, Kelsey's worked it at some tougher-type spots. Now, he worked under, obviously, the late Skip Prosser. That's his mentor, uh, Skip did an incredible job, we know, uh, at Xavier, at Wake. Um, so I, I just – I feel good about the fact that Louisville is going to get a lot better. Now, are they going to get back to Final Fours under Pat Kelsey? I have no idea. But I guarantee you they're not going to be a laughing stock under Pat Kelsey. I can almost guarantee you if they give them two, three – like they're going to be back in the NCAA tournament. Next year, I don't know. Obviously, it depends on the portal – they're going to have resources. He's had resources at Charleston. He, he, he's he got a kind of a formula on how he works the portal. Uh, now, Charleston, it's different because he went D2 route for some of these guys, and it worked. He's probably not going to do that at Louisville. But, you know, I think, again, they're going to be good this year. They're going to be better. It's hard not to be. Uh, you and I could have taken over this program and been better this coming year. Um, because it is. It's it's the biggest laughing stock of a program ever right now. For, for an elite program, it's fallen to the depths that we've never seen before of really a top 10 program. So it's going to be easy, but I understand what people are saying. Like, we wanted a name. Who the hell is Pat Kelsey? Yeah, I mean, look, names aren't always going to get the job done. There's a lot of times where right. you get a name and they don't yeah. live up to the expectations that you got. We've seen that happen with recent hires at like Indiana and Texas and some of these other programs. You want someone that's going to put in the effort and is going to make you better. And at the very least, Pat Kelsey is going to make you better in the short term. And he's going to reinvigorate fan base. And look, I'll tell you this. Um, I've seen the, I've seen them in person. I've seen the stuff they run. I see the way he coaches on the sidelines. There's a little bit of, uh, of Dan Hurley, us against the world, psychosis, uh, antagonizing every other fan base in the ACC. And I think that if Louisville fans buy in and give it a chance, they are going to eventually uh, learn to really like this guy. If he wins, know. Rob, if he wins, it they're going to buy in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If he wins, it doesn't matter. Now, again, his energy is insane. It's in, it's something I've never seen before out of any coach I've ever been around at any level in any sport. I've never seen it. Okay. So, again, it's going to take some getting used to, but he's a fighter. You know, he's going to get into – honestly, he's going to get into verbal altercations. We saw one – down at Boca with Dusty May. He's going to get happened, into him with coaches. There, this, is, this, this is the kind of stuff that Kelsey will do that, that will yeah. get you guys going, I promise you, Louisville fans. Uh, he wrote on the whiteboard in the uh, practice gym, our city all over it, um, when uh, when FAU was coming in for the next practice. And then after, right, the, after that, right before they were supposed to play FAU, uh, he was seen doing chin-ups on the yes. rim in the uh, yeah. FAU gym. So he's going to rile people up he's going to antagonize he's going to bring a level of energy he's going to promote the he's a midwest guy and, and he knows players, and right. you're gonna you're gonna be relevant next year whether that yeah, means competing right. for an acc title competing for a spot in the tournament um yeah. I'm, I, that is yet to be seen but i promise you louisville fans you will be relevant next season and yes. that is a step up from what it's been in the past listen jeff uh, i'll let you go do what you got to do because you're pretending like you're working up there i think you actually just have a lunch date that you've scheduled uh you're you like taking this? your wife out on a nice afternoon um in Boston, yeah yeah that's why you're... It, at the td garden yeah yeah at the td garden i'm gonna eat at one of these little the north
North North End Butcher place is right here. I'm gonna. There's yeah. nothing open though. My, my sources open. are my sources are telling me that uh, these days, I'm what consider, what what counts as a romantic date for you is you taking your wife for the press room media meal. So yeah, congratulations to Mrs. Goodman. I hope that she enjoys it. Jeff, appreciate your.